Oh yes, folks are home, folks are home. I just got to the fishing spot. Check out, huh? we got a huge dam over here on the East Fork is Stones River. And we even got a little historical something over here. It's no longer in use, it, it is abandoned, right? I would have to check the history of the area to tell you guys more about it. Anyways, time today for fishing is very limited. So let me shoot the intro here real, real quick and let's get the fishing started. You know, I got to tell you all, family are complicated creatures. If I was just out here by myself fishing, I would be doing some micro fishing, kind of exploring, catching the species. But family said, Leo, we want to eat some trout. Leo, please catch something edible for us to eat. So here am I, casting the inline spinner everywhere around the dam. And there is no trout, man. What can I do if people already harvested all the trout, right? Family thinks I can do miracles or something. And to top it off, they told me, Leo, don't go too far because people may just kill you or shoot you down here. No, I'm just, I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. Although they did say for me to not go too far, which I mean, if there's no trout here, how far can I go from the spot to find some, right? Uh, will extreme fully fishing be able to catch a trout in Tennessee? I actually paid a lot of money for this trout license, so for this trout stamp, may as well try to catch one, right? I mean, it's got a nice little current to this place, but... <coughs> <laughs> little sunfish <laughs> I was telling my family there first fish of the day turned out to be a tiny little long ear sunfish huh my first ever fish from the east what is the name of this place again East Fork Stones River and apparently the long ear are, are, are just everywhere around here right the Lepomis Megalotis one thing that I realized about these sunfish is that they can be very, very tiny and they are still so, so aggressive, the long gear. It is, it, it really fascinates me. Look at that, huh? Tiny sample, but it's still so beautiful. all around the area oh my goodness right in front of me too I've been casting all around the area but the only thing I've been catching is long ear sunfish this is the second long ear sunfish of the day bigger in size nailed that spinner but for some reason there's just nothing else I mean I say for some reason but my family members actually told me my family members here in Tennessee actually told me that this spot is actually pretty highly pressured meaning that a lot of people come here to fish so I guess you could say it is not really a surprise that there's just not a lot of things here trout wise I don't even know if there's anything left from the early stockings this year over here Oh, got something else right in front of me too. What is that? That's a second, our second species of the day is a rock bass. Rocky! Yay! Check it out, huh? Beautiful Amblopletes rupestris. The sizes down here are pretty nice. Ain't gonna lie. So far so good, nothing new. These fish are actually staying very, very hugged to the weeds right in front of me. As you guys can see, I am waiting on the very, very weedy area, right? And this fish just like to stay here, Ooh, I guess, for cover. And they're hitting my spinner right along the weed line, very close to me.
Come on, little current break right over here. Perfect for a jig. Fish on. Yeah, I just knew there would be some fish right in the current break, boy. What we got here? A bluegill. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Long gear, then rock bass, and now you give me a bluegill. Maybe the approach with the jigs and the inline spinners is just not working, folks. We are at the count of what? Three species, right? Three different species of fish, but nothing new so far. No trout, as my family, my family is like, yo, we want to eat trout for dinner, right? I was like, all right. Let me throw a few lures and, uh, and try to catch something, but so far no trout, no nothing. Man, I'm really about to just switch to micro fishing and I'm going to leave my family hanging. Boy, I don't even know when was the last time that they stocked this place with trout. But I can tell you, under the dam right here, I don't know how many people come fishing here, but I have seen a lot of lures, lost lures everywhere. So the fishing pressure here must be quite high. There ain't no trout left. <laughs> there ain't no trout left here. I've been catching them long years and uh, a bunch of rock bass, but that's about it. I'm about to walk down the creek a little bit. Doesn't matter what the fam says, you know, you got to explore a little bit. Otherwise, you ain't gonna catch crap. The dam over here looks so juicy at the beginning, right? But that is the place closest to the parking lot. So you just know that everyone will park the car around here and hit that dam first, which is why the fishing pressure is probably very, very high. Not to mention that the, fish, uh, that the people down here probably take a lot of fish home to eat. So sometimes I just told my family, you got to walk, walk away from the parking lot and then find some fishing spots to catch something different. Oh yeah, it is places like this that you have to, oh my goodness, go through the vegetation that you just know that a lot of people don't come to and therefore, oh, whew, it may just be productive and maybe have some trout left, right? So yeah, oh, hell yeah. This looks juicy right here. Oh, that was a bad cast. There's a stone all the way. Oh, fish on. There was a stone all the way to the other side. And then I caught a fish. What is it? What is it? Oh, that looks different actually. Is that a trout? Whoa, 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 no, guys, no, no. I don't know what it was, but it was really, really different. It was really, really different. I think I, think I just lost my first trout of the day on a bad cast. You see what I'm saying, man? You got to move away from the parking lot. <sighs> Excuse moi. Hey, yay, yay. I legit missed the only fish in this entire area, man. No joke. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Dude, powerful. Powerful. What is this? Silvery. Silvery. Dude, this is very powerful. Dude. I don't have this yet. I don't have this yet. <gasps> whoa, is a striper? What is that? Dude, what? Whoa, easy, dude. What did I just catch? This is this is new. This is, I mean, I, don't, I definitely don't have that yet. Oh, it's a white bass. Wait, either it is a white bass or it is a striper hybrid. Uh, how am I going to identify this thing? As I know, the, if this is a white bass, it should have a little stripe here, the caudal pedicle, but uh, I don't know if this is a striper hybrid or if it is a white bass, though. <laughs> I'm going to take a photo and just release it because I don't know the regulations for the things down here. I have caught white bass in Tennessee before, 
As a matter of fact, my life for white bass came from Tennessee, the Moroni Chrysops, and I really, really don't recall them being this long. This one is a, is a pretty long one. So, you know, I think that this is a hybrid striped bass, right? The hybrid between the white bass, the Moroni Chrysops, and the striped bass, the Moroni Saxatilis. Maybe they stock the stuff down here. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. So I'm going to revive this guy a little bit here and I'm just going to release it when he's ready. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He just slowly swam away. And that was a real good fight. I got to tell you, that was, mm, that made my day. It wasn't the trout that I, I'm looking for. But the fight was intense. You guys saw it. I mean, fall like a striper. <laughs> fall like a mini striper. All right, let's keep the fishing going. Hopefully, we're going to land a trout or whatever that the family wants. Oh, ooh, oh man, it looks juicy down there. It looks real, real juicy. I just came to the bend of this little creek right here. And I got to tell you, there's not a lot of fish in the current, but the one that I lost and that one over there, at least the quality of fish seems to be okay. Check it out. I'm going to work it all the way down there until I can't wade anymore. But man, we are going to find this trout if my life depends on it. Before I go further, let me cast on this side. Sometimes fish like to ambush prey in the shallows from the margin. So let me just make sure that I'm not spooking anything. Nah, we're good. Just shiners. Bunch of shiners following my spinner. When I have the micro hook tied on, no shiner wants to do anything with my stuff. And then I take the Tanago off and I cast the inline spinner, gazillions of shiners follow it in. Just like that. Oh, there's one. There's one, boy. Oh, yeah, that one bit nice, too. What is it? I think it's a bass, man. The way you kind of jump like that. Oh, it's a, no, no, it's another one of those weird uh, striper-like creatures. Maybe a white bass, maybe a hybrid, I don't know. I tried to bring it over to unhook it over here. Yeah, man, they're powerful, man. Holy, oh, easy, oh, this dude is pissed. He's like, I never seen an Asian before. Well, now you have, my man, my Tennessee little fella i think these are this looks more like a white bass i don't know i'm gonna take photos of every single one of them just in case but this, <laughs> man I, i'm not an expert when it comes to identify these fellas but look at this anal thing right here that little silvery bluish and the white over here definitely don't got these in pennsylvania these dudes actually fight so good that i actually wish that we had them in the northeast no joke oh easy easy now boy oh, 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 oh you weren't even outside of the water for this long huh oh all right man maybe need a little reviving i thought you know something like that dang dude that a fish kind of scare me you know i take care of my fish pretty well all want to play that on the asian folk here huh i see the technique my dude i like this creek i really really like this creek there's not a lot of fish around here what i mean is if you get a bite here you get a bite here you get a bite there it's not like all the fish are schooled up in one hole so you have to cover a lot of water but come on this is just something that you do not get to do in Pennsylvania, right? You go to the creeks around my area, yeah, you expect to catch some smallies, the smallmouth bass or some largemouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides. You do not expect 
to catch a striper like creatures on your known tidal creeks around my area and this fish over here down here they're so powerful man they when they hit you just it, it almost feels like you got snagged and then they start the line starts pulling it is great here is great oh there's one there's one oh dude, dude. Oh. okay i didn't land the fish but did you guys see that jump man that, that was another one of those weird bass that potentially are white bass man that was the jump dude no large mouth or smallie jumps weird <laughs> like that i gotta tell you that Mm, nice little band. What the heck did I just catch? You have got to be kidding me. This is my first largemouth bass of this entire trip. And I did not expect it to be this size. <laughs> Well, we can officially add another species to this Tennessee trip. Little largemouth bass over here. No trout, but little bass came up. Unbelievable, boy. Well, 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 fellas, ladies, and gentlemen, I just got a dreadful call. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what the dreadful call is, I just got a call from my family, and they let me know that it is time to go home and that I hiked too much. I, <laughs> I went too far from the initial spot, right? Which is actually true. I'm about 20 minutes hike from when I first started, that little dam area that I didn't produce very much. It is, as I told you guys in this video, okay? This is the moral of this video, lesson of the day. I didn't end up catching the trout that my family wanted to eat, but the moral of the story is, you got to go away from the parking lots, man. You see, COVID-19 is still going on, even down here in Tennessee, nobody. Let me show you all here, nobody. There's nobody, parking lots over there. You see that there's nobody around here. This right here, my friends, is very healthy social distancing. Not to mention that when you leave the parking lot alone and you hike all the way down here, the fishing pressure is so much lower. So chances are you are going to catch some fish like those hybrid striped bass that we caught in this video. I am assuming that those are hybrid striped bass. So there you have it. This is the video for today. We did fairly good. I am going to leave some extra footage for you guys after this outro of some other species that I caught in this particular creek. And you guys are pretty lucky, huh? That you got one more episode on the Tennessee series. This video, everything was like play by ear. I, don't, I didn't have anything planned for today. So you know what? Although the family called and said it is time to leave, let's give them a round of applauses, right? for allowing me to come here and actually shoot another video for you guys for the channel, right? So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Tight lines is stay away from the parking lots.